Yes, guys, here we are again with Pop's car. And I'm not gonna lie, I am at a total crossroads with this thing. Okay, so first issue, not a huge deal, but it is kind of a deal. Um, the car constantly dies. Now, we've handled all the vacuum leaks, throttle position sensor set, brand new IAC Motocraft part. Um, timing's good. Like I said, no vacuum leaks. Everything is good. PCM checks out good. It is the correct PCM once, you know, from when we did the AOD swap. Everything is right. Everything is good, but it's still not good. Next issue. Now that we've got the AOD in the car, um, something has popped up recently where when you're coming to a stop, the car lugs down really bad and just sits there, acts like it wants to die, bangs against the converter and uh, just basically jerks to a stop um, every time you every time you slow down or come to a stoplight or you know whatever so look i'll be honest i want this to be a nice driving car it's a good looking car but i want it to be a nice driving car not just because it sucks driving it now but uh, my wife wants to drive it to work and go see her father So when we took the car down to the horsepower factory to put it on the dyno, um, Alan did mention, why the hell don't you have a holly on this thing? Well, you know, being as mild as it is, I figured it'd be all right. gonna do this justice yeah I don't know if you can hear it I know you can't feel it but the jerking and the bucking at low speed is bad the years having so many cam fox bodies um all were five speeds obviously um i understand they don't like to be lugged down to low rpms um and they would jerk they would buck and i feel like that's what this is doing so a lot of it probably is the cam and like i said guys if, if you followed the pop scar series you know i intended to not put a cam in it for this reason and here it is biting me in the ass I've also thought about the nuclear option, uh, which would be just pull everything out and find an inexpensive Mustang Gen 1 Coyote and 6R80 and just be done with it. And I say that because I just did the video on Adam's car and recently did the video on our giveaway uh, Coyote Swap Capri. Oh man, and that really... It reaffirms why we're so big on the swaps. 
really and truly guys i don't want to do all that i really don't this is pretty much exactly where i saw this going and it looks freaking great and it's got more than enough power for her um but the drivability shit and that's a problem so really and truly guys i love how the car is set up right now i love what it looks like under the hood i like the og look um i like the cam sound the power is adequate like i said man i just need i, just, I need this car to drive good I don't really exactly know what the best way to go about that. Alright guys, so there is the dilemma. Like I said, I don't know. And this isn't anything that's going to happen real soon. I've got a lot of stuff i got to get done before... I dive back into this but the thought has definitely crossed my mind especially after driving adam's thunderbird guys if you didn't see the review on adam's thunderbird you need to go back and watch that this car is freaking ridiculous but simple gen 1 6r80 swap on this Ooh, that would solve all my problems all right guys so there you go Drop me a comment below, what do you think? What should we do? Because I'm kind of out of a crossroads. And again, this isn't something that's gonna happen, you know, relatively soon. Um, but something has to change. I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna change, but the car is just not great to drive. And that sucks. As you guys know, got everything put into this car. So again, guys, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, what's your ideas? Ah, and I'll catch you on the next one.